Hello, Bugman Nation. Bugman here. Hey, uh, Friday. Uh, I was just talking to a guy, one of my customers, and we were telling stories, and he did something stupid. I won't, uh, he, I'm not supposed to repeat what he did, but we started telling stories about stupid stuff. You know, guys are pretty good at doing stupid shit. <laughs> Is that one, that one fine time, moment in time when you should have thought about it for a little bit longer, but you didn't, and it turned out to be really something stupid? So anyway, I uh, talk about customers. I've ran across a couple of those guys. Uh, one guy showed up at their house. <clears throat> I called them for ants. And I get called out there, and the woman was just pissed. She goes, look at my... And she just goes on and on about her husband. And he said they're not saying a word. <laughs> Poor guy. It was really quite comical. He's like a little puppy that was just beat on. Well, anyway, they had fire ants real bad. His solution was pour gas on them, which yeah, will kill fire ants, yes. But then he decided what to do. Now, the fine line for him was just to put a, a match to the gasoline. So he poured gasoline on all these ant piles. He'd go around lighting them on fire, which is fine. But he had a pier and beam house that was probably two foot off the ground. And, of course, there were ants right up next to the house on one of the piers. And he caught that on fire. The problem with that was... It caught the house on fire. <laughs> the house had slate siding house, had black soot all over the side of it, and the, the, the joists underneath it were charred because he did not plan this well. He was going to use the gasoline and the match and to kill the ant, but he didn't have water hose. He had to go find a water hose. And so by the time he gets a water hose, and it's really funny because now he's freaked out because the house is on fire. And so he finally gets the water hose hooked up, and he starts spraying the house down. Well, now the ones he put in the grass are catching the grass on fire. So his whole damn lawn is just about burned up. Because the thing about the grass is like, especially on a pyramid beam house, there's gr nice green grass. It's not going to burn very well. But right underneath the house, there's all this dead grass where no sunlight gets it. So it caught on fire. And his grass caught on fire. And it, the hat, most of it, he had like a, a good sized lot, like three quarters of an acre. And the whole damn <laughs> thing. It basically burned up. So she ran on and she goes, hey, he's not allowed to do pest control anymore. I, said, I thought, well, you can let him do pest control. Let's keep the damn gas and the match from him. <laughs> so, anyway, that was a funny story. But now, this other guy that I knew, he had ants in his driveway. Uh, it was a regular slab, nice subdivision house in League City. And he had ants getting in the cracks of his driveway all the time. So I decided he's going to do the gasoline. What else would you do? And he hits the gas. And so he decides now that he's poured gas on these ants, he's going to further the fun and light it on fire. And what what happens next? Because the, the wood in their driveway has expansion wood in it when they pour the concrete. What's it made out of? Wood. What has he just done? He poured gasoline on wood. Cheap wood. <laughs> and so it caught on fire. Not only did, And the funny part is it goes right along the edge of the house by the garage. And, of course, you know, one thing leads to another kind of a deal. It, the whole driveway is in flames. It looked like, a, like, you know, the lines of his driveway were on fire. And then it spread up to the house, and it actually burned part of the, the expansion wood right by the garage. Now, the, the garage is black soot on it. And so I get there. This guy's got a steam cleaner, pressure washer, and he's trying to get this shit off. My wife's going to be home soon. i got to get rid of this soot. She's going to kill me. <laughs> So he's out there pressure washing the house and the garage, the driveway, getting this off. So the moral of both those stories is the gasoline is not the best way to get rid of ants. <laughs> and there's you got to think. Stop and think, guys. There's that fine line where you think. And if you cross that line, dude, it's, it's video material. It's funniest on video shit. Uh, and I, I wish I had video for both those. But this is long time ago before the, the cell phones were so popular now you can get it on video and uh, you can be on tv with it anyway that's it for the day bug man out and remember no gasoline and fire for ants don't try to torch the ants it's bad all the way around bad for you bad for the ants <laughs> but if you do make sure you have your camera ready to get video anyway bug man out gotta go